Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a virtual machine that is XVWA and XVWA stands for Extreme Vulnerable Web Application. So there is a web application which is hosted on some specific web server and we are creating this virtual machine to learn about application security and this machine this virtual machine is or this application so this web application is badly coded so badly coded means this is actually vulnerable so there are some vulnerabilities and uh, we will try to explore those vul vulnerabilities uh, using our kali Linux machine so we will have these two virtual machine kali and then this xpwa to explore uh, the application security and i'll put the link of this website that's Volna hub so from here you can download this uh, virtual machine and this virtual machine or sorry this web application is designed to understand following security issues so we'll be learning maybe all of these security issues in in the future videos but using this uh, uh, vulnerable web application we can understand the ideas behind that and these are the uh, these are the security issues which we'll be exploring and uh, then we have this uh, the link here so again i'll put the link in the description section so that you can download it from this link so this is the second link we'll be using to download the iso file required to create xvwa virtual machine now you can see that this uh, xvwa machine the iso file has been downloaded on my computer and now to create this uh, virtual machine in my VMware, let me bring in my VMware here. So you can see this is VMware workstation. And here I, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So I go to file and then I click on new virtual machine. And there's a typical settings. So that's the recommended setting and uh, I keep it as it is and then click next. And here we have to give the path to that ISO file which we downloaded so that ISO file is in my downloads folder so I'll just click on browse and then you can see here in my downloads folder we have this xvwa ISO file so I'll give the path of this ISO file here and then click open and then we click next and here actually this virtual machine is actually Linux based machine so I'll select Linux here and then I click next and then here this is the name of the virtual machine so we will not oh, so maybe we can change the name of virtual machine like x uh, x v w a so that will be the name of this virtual machine you can have any word name here and then we click next and this is the maximum disk size which will be used by this virtual machine we keep it as it is whatever recommended settings are there and this simply the split virtual disk into multiple files so that will be kind of recommended setting we are uh, we are keeping it as it is and then we click next and here it shows all the configurations so this is ready to create virtual machine with this name and this is the location and this is the version so you can read it everything here and if you want to customize hardware of course you can click there and then you can customize this hardware so and one last thing I, I would like to point out that this network adapter which is actually connected with the net the network address translation is the option so now at this time this setting shows that this newly created virtual machine can access internet but to be on safe side because this is actually vulnerable machine it has many weaknesses so to be on safe side we will change it to uh, host only network because we want this virtual machine to be in an isolated network and if you like then we, i have some introduction on this net and host only and bridge network in some other video so for that you can refer to that video but at the moment i'm just going to change this i'm going to click here on net and uh, instead of net i'll select host only and then i close it and then i'll just finish this and after this a virtual machine here this is uh, this is created and uh, now the only step which I need is to power on this virtual machine so I'll click this power on this virtual machine and then now you can see this screen is showing this new virtual machine is loading and it may take some time you see this re uh, so automatic boot in three seconds 
so we are waiting for this machine to get ready so that we can see it and um, meanwhile i want to show you that this the second machine which i have that is the kali Linux machine just beside that so this machine is coming and uh, yeah so meanwhile maybe if i show you that this, this is the kali machine here and if i click there here this is the kali linux machine second virtual machine and here also want to change the network adapter of this kali linux machine so that it should also be on the host only network so at the moment as you can see network adapter is at n80 so i'll click on edit virtual machine and here click on this network adapter and maybe i need to power off this machine because i don't see these options there so maybe i first power off this kali linux machine power off here and then discard is changes and then let's go back to xpwa let's see if this is ready and you can see this if this machine is ready here it's showing us the command prompt so we go here kali machine and then we change its network adapter so click on network adapter and instead of net we'll click on host only and then we click ok and after this change we are going to power on this kali linux machine as well so now you can see this power machine is, is getting ready and if you go to xbwa again back and if you want to check the ip address for this machine then we can run this command and we can use this command that is ifconfig press enter and it shows that the ip address for this machine is here 192.168.33.134 so that is the ip address for xbwa and let's go to Kali the machine it's still uh, taking some time to get ready for us so now the machine is getting ready Kali Linux machine and uh, now we have the screen where we have to give the password username and password and then we click login by the way I have another video that how to create this Kali Linux machine as well anyways now now we have this XBWA and we have this uh, machine that is kali linux and we want to see the ip address of kali so i just click on this terminal on black window here and now have the terminal and in this terminal if i write if config so with this command we can see the ip address for this kali linux machine that is 192.168.33 and 129 so you can see here this is 192.168.33 and here this is 192.168.33 and this shows that actually this is a classy ip address and this is a subnet mark so this shows that both of the virtual machines are on the same subnet so it means they should be able to ping each other and to verify it we can maybe go to kali linux machine and then we give the ip address of uh, xvwa machine to verify that these two machines are able to communicate with each other so the ip address of xvwa is 192 and uh, 168 33 and one one let me see here again sorry for that that is uh that's 134 so we have 134 mm, 34 that's not working click there 134 mm. yes 134 so this is the ip address of xpwa and let's use this ping command and you can see we are getting reply from this xvwa it means these two machines are uh, able to reach each other they can communicate with each other and then maybe close this and now we have a web application hosted on this machine on this virtual machine and now to access it let me just now to access the web application which is hosted on this virtual machine we need the ip address of this xvwa so we go here and we launch a browser there and in the browser we have to write the ip address of this xvwa so that will be um, that will be 192 192.168.33.134 and then this is actually the index file is in our xvwa folder we write xvwa and then we press enter and now you can see we can see the web application which is actually hosted on this virtual machine that is xvwa okay now you can see we have both of the machines ready and we can access this uh, vulnerable web application which is hosted on this xvwa virtual machine and now we have this web application
this is the web application we will be playing with we will be learning about these all sql injection operating system command injection x uh, path formula injection php or maybe dom based uh, cross site scripting so if we yeah we we can learn about all these uh, weaknesses or the vulnerabilities here on this web application in future video but in this video i just wanted to show you that how to create the required lab how to create the required setup so that we can learn about these all uh, weaknesses available on this web applications so that's it for this video and thank you thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some yeah in future video thanks